Well, good morning. Are you ready for our language lesson today? All right, let's look at page 107 right here. And we're gonna have page 108 also, okay? We kinda have a long lesson today because you're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have these pages and you're gonna have a spelling test and you have a review to be graded. Oh man, okay. So let's look here and practice our long O words. Now, we've been working with words this week that make the long O sound, okay? Now, you can hear the long O sound in words like home, boat, bowl. The long O sound is spelled in different ways. Let's look at these examples. O-E, like in do. O A like in boat and just O like no. What about O W says O as in toe. O L D is old like cold. When you see an O beside an L and a D you know it says it's O sound. O S T, oast, as in most. And then O consonant E, where the word ends with that silent E, it doesn't say anything. Rose. Then it says a long sound. See, there's a consonant between the O and the silent E. It makes it say it's long sound. These are just different ways that you get the long O sound. And these were our spelling words for the week. Doe, boat, no, toe, cold, most, and rose. Now here's some riddles we're gonna use. All right, and what you're, and I would like for you to do this page yourself, this page and the next page. There's the rest of the words there. These are riddles to see if you can read the riddle and choose the word that that completes the riddle. And then you have to write the word in the correct blank, okay? Now, I'd like for you to go ahead and pause this as you go ahead and do those. And then I'm gonna check it with you to make sure you got it right. But I want you to use the honest, I want you to be honest and I want you to do it yourself first, okay? All right, go ahead and pause it and work on those pages. All right, let's see if, if you did this correct. So number one says, I ride in the water. Did you write the word boat right here? Boat, B-O-A-T, boat. And then after you wrote it, you could mark it out to show you where you used it. The opposite of yes, did you put no, the opposite of yes would be no. Another word for how I haul a boat. Mm. Did you write the word tow? Because remember that picture of that truck that was hauling that car? Okay, what about I am a flower? Did you write rose? I feel like this in winter. Did you write cold? <laughs> I am a female deer. Did you write doe? I have more than everyone else. That means that you have the most. Did you get them all right? Did you miss any? I hope you didn't, and I hope you spelled them all right. All right, now here's what I'd like for you to do. I'd like for you to get a piece of paper out and put all your stuff away so that there's no cheating. Close your book and take out a sheet of paper, okay? And at the top of your paper, I want you to put 
I want you to put this. Spelling test nine. I don't know if that's going to go or not. No, I don't guess so. Uh-oh. Let me change that to the right color. All right. At the top of your paper, I want it to have, I want you to put this up there at the top of your paper, okay? And then you're going to go ahead and put your numbers. Whoop. Make sure you close your book. Okay? Close all your books so you don't see your spelling words because that would be cheating. That's not honest. That's called dishonest. All right, are we ready? Put everything away and make sure your paper looks like this on the screen. No cheating. All right, here we go. Number one, toe. If your car breaks down, it has to be, it has to have a tow truck. Tow. Number two, boat. Have you ever ridden in a boat? Boat. Number three. No, I've never been in a boat. No. Number four. Most. Most of my family have ridden in a boat. Most. Number five. Doe. I saw a doe in the woods. Doe. Number six. Rose. Oh, what a beautiful red rose. Rose. And number seven. Cold. Oh, I'm so cold. Cold. Okay, I hope you did a good job. Now, I'd like for you to set that aside. And then we have to turn in your book to another page. So make sure you get your book back out. All right? Can you turn to page 387? 387. If you can't find it, can you go ask your mom to find it? It's 387 and 388 okay now if you need to pause it you pause it and then you go find it all right so you should have this page out now this this page and this page these are reviews okay these are things that we've been learning for the past nine weeks now I'm not going to help you with it I'm just going to kind of tell you what it says now this up here says to add the correct punctuation to the sentences. So that means you read each one of these sentences and you have to put the, well not this one, but these two. Read these two sentences and put the correct punctuation. Remember the punctuation we've learned. We've learned periods, question marks, and exclamation marks. So you're gonna put whichever one you think goes there. On this one, it asks you to write a proper noun. Remember what a proper noun is? A proper noun is a noun that always begins with a, you remember? A capital letter, okay? Now, this says write the correct pronoun that can take the place of the underlined noun. Look at this sentence, Claire bounced the ball to the girl. Remember when we learned about pronouns, words that, so we don't have to keep saying her name? Claire did this, and Claire did that, and Claire did this. What word would we use instead of saying Claire? There's a word called a pronoun that we would use rather than saying Claire, 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 Claire. What could we put? So that's what you're going to put there. Okay. And then on number five, it says to write an action verb. 
Remember a verb? That's something that you do. So you're going to write a word that you do, an action, okay? And on number six and seven, on those, you have to write the plural. Remember, we talked about that this week. Remember, sometimes you add just an S, and other times you have to add an ES, but you have to remember. Look at this page. On this page, on number eight and nine, read what it says. Add commas to the correct places in the sentences. Remember when we talked about commas? You put commas around people's names that you're talking to in the sentence. Or if you list a lot of things in a sentence, you have to put a comma after each thing that you list. Remember that? Okay, so if there's a list, you put commas after it. Or if you're talking to somebody in the sentence, you have to put commas around their name. Okay. This says, how many days are in February in a leap year? <gasps> Do you remember how many days February has? Remember that poem we learned? 30 days hath September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31 except February has 28. But in a leap year, it has 29. Don't forget that. Now, this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. You're going to have to say these to your mom, okay? Make sure you do that. I'm going to leave her a note so that she's going to have to ask you about that, okay? All right, when you're all finished with your pages, I want you to give everything to your mom, okay? That'll be all for today.